Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon. This week I actually have a newer toy review for you. Uh, with me here are the Masters of the Universe minifigures brought to you by Action Vinyls. Uh, the Action Vinyls have brought out some really cool minifigs over the last couple years. They brought out uh, the newest Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle minifigs, Power Rangers, and now their newest ones, Masters of the Universe. So, uh, here we're going to go ahead and I got four of them here. These are blind bag in the box, so you don't know which one you're getting, but you get a minifig with some really cool accessories and a really cool bio card that comes with the figure. So, and these aren't, these aren't, these, these are posable. These are really cool. He's got some little toys, has some amazing uh, posability, and even some of them have action features. So let's go ahead and go over some of these. First off, we'll go over the basic articulation of these guys. Uh, we've got the head, which is on a ball joint, so it can go up and down, left and right. The arms and legs are also on ball joints, so they can move in, out, up, down. The wrists turn, and uh, of course these move. And there are even boot cuts here at the ankle, which are not on a ball joint, but they do move from right to left. Actually, they can turn all the way around. Uh, they even have waist movement. So, uh, that's pretty cool here. And of course, like I said, they come with a slew of accessories. He-Man comes with his classic shield and sword of power. And they do just fit in their hands, like so. Now, some of these were really hard to get in their hands, just kind of a forewarning. You really had to uh, work them in there, but once they're in there, they're in there. And I don't really have any issue standing these guys up. Uh, once you find the right pose, there you go. So, I'm um, going to move these guys out of the way here. <coughs> uh, with Skeletor, Skeletor is really cool because he has the same articulation as He-Man, uh, except his head, also on a ball joint, his hood is a total separate piece. I haven't tried to take his head off to see if the hood is removable, but it looks like it's possible. And something else that's really cool about Skeletor, he has a hinged jaw, so it is movable. How cool is that? So you can have it open, you can have it closed. I like to have it open, just because that's how he's always portrayed in the cartoon series. And of course he has some awesome accessories. He's got his Havoc Staff. Now, this is really cool for fans of the Filmation series. He does come with his axe scene in the, in the uh, introduction episode. And he doesn't come with a power sword, but he does come with that skull skeleton-like sword. And him and He-Man do have a holster in the back of there. And it does just kind of slide right in there. So, uh, then we come to... Stratos. Now, I want to point something out, about, a few things out about Stratos. First off, his bio card, if you look carefully, you'll notice there's color change of this. That's because there was a two pack between him and Man at Arms where he had this color scheme as opposed to the one in the blind bag. And if you notice his accessories, he comes with his uh, staff of Avion and he ha does have clip-on wings. Now the weapons are in their own separate bag in the baggie that they come in. So, and I want to point out, I don't know if it's just my Stratos or not, but he came in the package, his arm was off. But they are on a ball joint and they do pop right back on. His leg, when I popped his arm on, also came off. Also on a ball joint. So just kind of be wary that, you know, these are really cool figs, they're mini figs, but there might be a few factory issues. And so far, Stratos is the only one I had that issue with. So, and then one of my favorites, Manny Faces. Now, his articulation is going to be just a little different because this is one solid sculpt right here. And I want to note with these figures, I mean, look at the detail on the sculpt. These are really cool. So the head's not going to move, but the waist moves, the arms move, the wrist moves. He has the same uh, ankle articulation. He comes with his really cool blaster that the original vintage figure came with. Something else he came with that the original vintage did, check this out. If you turn the little knob on top, his head faces do change. 
just like the uh, all the other versions of this figure that we got. And you got to hear it, listen to that click. Isn't that really cool? So, uh, there you go. The Like I said, I don't ever have any issues with these guys standing. Uh, Stratos, because occasionally his leg will get loose, pop off. His staff, luckily, he has a staff, so that kind of holds him up. Uh, again, Skeletor, I never have any issues standing him up. And then, of course, the strongest man in the universe, he, and the most powerful man, He-Man. So, these are the four I bought. Uh, now, here in Decatur, I can't find them anywhere. I end up getting these guys at Hot Topic in Springfield, Illinois. Uh, but they're available in Hot Topic. I've uh, seen uh, empty boxes at Toys R Us. So, and yes, because people are buying these by the cases so they can get all the figures. And the other ones, I believe, are Tila, Evil Land, Beast Man, um, Triclops, Faker, and Man at Arms. So, <clears throat> I believe there are nine figures in Series 1 in total. Uh, personally, I'm hoping for a Series 2 along with a uh, some of the Horde figures. And like Mantana, Mantana was always my favorite. And I'm also hoping for a Stinkor. That'd be cool. And especially if it actually kept its stink scent feature that the original vintage figure had. So that'd be cool. But haven't heard any talk of a Series 2 yet. I'm still trying to get Series 1. Um, so, and like I said, these are awesome. They're by uh, Action Vinyls. Uh, if you could find them, I highly suggest picking up at least a couple boxes to check them out. You'll get addicted to it, I guarantee. So, uh, happy hunting, friends, and have fun. Hey, guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Maybe put a comment below and hit that subscribe button. And be sure to head on over to our Facebook page. Links are in the description below.